when I was a kid, all my heroes had firearms, and it was a natural thing. That's all I asked for for Christmas. Folks were buying firearms from ranges and not really knowing how to use them. So I thought I could be, that could be my thing. I could be like the family community gun guy. For the last 13 years, I've been sharing knowledge, common sense, um, just little tidbits of stuff that I've learned just like this for the people who are slowly getting into the realm, learning and wondering, are there any sane people still left in this argument? I've been trying to be that guy. I remember it wasn't that long ago when I could walk into a store and watch somebody follow me. I remember the times when you walk past a car and hear it, hear that thing lock, um, or you walk past somebody and they grab their purse. It wasn't that long ago. So now that I'm looking a little seasoned, um, folks, I'm not scary anymore. And uh, I try my best to look like an old, happy old guy. But back in the day, I was scary. And those are the days when I ran the risk of getting shot, just like um, Roberson, just like Chapman, just like all those guys. It's real out here. How did you justify shooting my son? We can't fix stupid, unfortunately. That, that's in there. Um, and cops, even though we hold them to such a high degree, they're still people. Why did you shoot them? You can't explain that to me because that ain't training. That's cowardice. You a coward. We want justice for EJ, and we want it right away. We want. We aren't as free as we think. People still have their own issues, their own prejudices, and you gotta have to have to gauge that. If it's not your family, not the people that you came in there with, you might want to just evacuate. To stop a bad guy with a gun, it takes a good guy with a gun. But then if the good guy with the gun happens to be a black good guy with a gun, they don't get any of the benefits. Run, hide, escape. You don't have to always fight. That hero thing will get you killed. This country was formed and all the gun control laws were, were basically to keep Native Americans and African Americans away from firearms. There's a history of racist roots of gun control, we call them, of where if you had as little as a a ball shot, you could get pulled out of your house. If you had a rifle or a shotgun, you could be hung by citizens for having a gun. We have a community of people that have grown up fearing, telling anybody in authority that we have firearms. And it's based on self-preservation. We still don't trust the man. We still don't trust the government. There's still a, a fear within the black community in particular about exercising their Second Amendment right. So when you have somebody who's bold and outspoken, they're an enigma still.